Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome aboard. Hopefully you'll enjoy this Monday market watch. Don't forget to hit subscribe before you go much further so you don't forget later on down the line. If this is not your first time on the channel, you may have some problems. So besides the fact that we do absolutely trash tier content, we do a Monday market watch every single week looking at the Euro market just to kind of see how things are doing on this side of the pond. Most of the market watches out there cater for the US market rather than the Euro one. So of course it can be a little bit difficult to understand the differences between the markets. So this is a really good opportunity for you to understand the differences. And to help you with that, we have price guides up on the screen. I think this is on the correct, uh, correct side of what I'm looking for, but there'll be some conversion rates up there from euros to pounds and into US dollars. So that'll give you some idea of what we're paying over here. And you can find out if we're getting absolutely fucking ripped off or if maybe we're getting a really good deal. But that's enough waffling on from me. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Apologies if there are any crazy noises in the background. I do live in a very noisy house, so that is a definite possibility. But again, enough waffling from me. Let's get stuck in to the market watch. Okay, so as discussed for today's market watch, we are taking a look at Starlight Res in particular, as requested in one of the video comments, so I decided to give it a go. I've got a list of them all from Yugipedia, so if any are missing, I guess fuck the guys over at Yugipedia for giving me the wrong list, but I believe this is a full list of all of the available Starlight Rare cards. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at them all on the Euro market. Of course, they are all going to be in English and in a minimum of excellent condition. Generally speaking, we go for a minimum of good condition, but given the value of these cards, we are looking at excellent and above. They are, again, also going to be in English because it's a little bit easier uh, for us to deal with, and also the fact that it's usually the most popular rarity of card that is out there that people are looking to buy. But also the fact that the majority of the viewers of this channel are US-based, of course, naturally they're usually going to be looking for English print cards as well. So again, we're not going to mess around too much longer. We are going to take a look firstly at Marantes Seahorse. Again, these should all be in order from beginning to end in order of release up to the time of this video. So we've got Marantes Seahorse to start us off here. Of course, these things yo-yo all over the place depending on what condition is available and all of that kind of good stuff. Um, the overall price trade is 201 euros. However, they are a minimum of 255 on card market at the moment so that is a slight increase on what is to be expected again long term all of these are likely to hold some amount of good value but at the moment 255 euros is the minimum you can get them for in english in uh, any kind of respectable condition Next up, we have Win the Wind Charmer, a minimum of 270. The price trend is just under 200 euros. So the fact that these are all above is a good sign for people who have these and are looking to sell on. For buyers, not so much. But it is one of those things where I really feel with most of the Starlights that you want to kind of pick them up ASAP because long term they are going to continue to rise. Particularly the ones that we all know are going to be absolutely insane, the likes of Appaloosa, IP Mascarena, that will really, really hold value long term. Win is one of the ones I expect that. If any of them could go down, it would be something like this. But I do think long term, these are all going to be pretty decent investments. Speaking of Appaloosa, unsurprisingly, one of the more expensive, if not the most expensive of the Starlights. It's actually insane when you consider the fact that this is about the same price as you can pick up some prize cards for, more than some even. Um, and it's just absolutely wild to me that it's so expensive. But of course, Appaloosa incredibly strong in the modern game. Even out of this whole link format, Master All 5, where links aren't so... Uh, what shall we say? They're not so highly required. This is a really popular card, and the fact that it's held this value speaks volumes about what this card is to the community. So again, the overall price trend at the moment is 921 euros. However, you can get them as low as 800, which sounds insane for me to be saying as low as 800. It's quite a lot of money for a single piece of cardboard, but collectors will pay what collectors are going to pay. Uh, and the majority of them are towards that 900 euro mark and then just over a thousand overall. Again, unsurprising that this I'm pretty sure is the most expensive of them all. And again, with how powerful this card is, it's unsurprising. Next up, we're looking at one of the slightly cheaper options that's out there. Storm Dragon's Return. 
just a measly 111 euros. The price trend is around 140. The 30-day price average is much lower. So I think overall, of course, that we're seeing these drop on the price trend. Um, again, it's one of those things where I think long term they will continue to hold value. I don't think they're going to go much lower than they are now. And of course, if we find ourselves in a position where this card becomes super relevant in any given format, it will go through the roof. So if you're someone who's got hold of these, it's something to think about whether you want to keep hold of them long term and hope that they become meta relevant in the near future and of course then the price will go up of course if it doesn't then you're probably looking around the price that we see now unchained twins aruha we've seen the price for this slowly creep up over time if you look at the overall trajectory it is heading upwards the price trend is 242 euros a 30-day price average 147 euros at the moment they are 209 at a minimum so there are one or two cheaper than the overall price trend however expect this to continue to go up if this is anything to go by overall over time you are seeing a slight increase in price of course you will get some dips like you will with all of these but overall the direction is heading upward Next up, we have Pyro Phoenix from the absolutely dead-ass Salaman Great. I was looking at the win rates earlier on Wajo Scope for this, and uh, the deck's dead. Like, honestly, anyone who's putting themselves through the misery of playing this deck right now is in a bad, bad place. Honestly, I think some of the cards could come off, but that's a debate for another day. Salaman Great Pyro Phoenix, of course, one of the cheaper ones. 130 euros overall. The 30-day price average, 106. So, actually, it has gone up very slightly, but the overall price trend is close to 170. So, overall, over time, we're expecting to see this likely to start to head down again. Next up, we're looking at Gorgon, Empress of the Evil Eyed. Nobody plays this fucking deck. I don't even know why this is 140 euros at a minimum. Anyone who's playing this for this is absolutely insane. Completely unplayable because the deck is unplayable. I think... This is a big waste of your money, really, honestly, don't buy it. And if you have it, just sell it up, man. Just just take the money and run. There she is. IP Mascarena, one of the absolute fan favourites for obvious reasons. You're all degenerate. A minimum of €600 Euros is the going rate, and vastly, vastly increasing as you go further down we'll see them all the way up to around 1200 euros i do think that this is one much like appalooza that is going to continue to rise up over time for obvious reasons uh it's probably the little ear thing that's going on that must be the reason uh 600 euros at a minimum 694 is the next one and then of course we're well over the 700 mark from there on out the overall price trend is heading upwards it's certainly an improvement you've got one below the actual price trend but the rest are way above so again expect the price to continue to rise if this is anything to go by sky striker ace rose people absolutely love this deck still and it's unsurprising that this is holding a pretty decent value it's really really important of course with ray if you are someone who wants to play the deck and want to play it in max rarity of course you're going to need two to three copies of this potentially three uh and 300 euros is the price for it the 30-day price average is 50 euros less the overall price trend is slightly above that however the majority of them apart from that bottom end one are well over that mark as well so again expect to see this to continue to rise up and of course it has that it's one of those fan favorite decks it's one of those decks that just never dies it's a little bit like BA, it's not quite to the same degree, but there are certainly avid fans out there who continue to play this deck, and anyone who wants to max it out is going to need copies of this. Also, the Earth Charmer, looking like that girl out of Scooby-Doo, I can't remember which one her name is, the little hippie weirdo one. Anyway, €280 Euros is the minimum you're going to get one of these for. Look at the overall trajectory, just shooting right the way up. Expect to see this continue. Waifu tax, ladies and gentlemen. It's, you're going to see it's a running theme here. It's unsurprising. Uh, €280 Euros at a minimum. 305 is the price trend. However, there's only two below that. The rest are well up towards that €350 Euro mark. Lightning Storm. It's actually kind of fell off the face of the earth a little bit. I see this played less and less and less. Of course, it's just a side deck option for the vast majority of decks. But honestly, I've seen even less playing it. But that's, again, another discussion for another day. A minimum of €600. Euros. The 30-day price average is 437 The price trend is 598 And we are seeing these at a minimum of 599 So, again, just a handful around that mark. But the rest are way above and continuing to rise. The overall trajectory heading upward. It is one of those cards that is considered a staple in the modern game. So that is part of the reason that we're seeing it at such a high price range compared to some of the others. Of course, it's one that can effectively be played in any sideboard of any deck. Time Thief Perpetua, despite the fact that Time Thief died along with Lunalite and is virtually unplayable, let's be honest, um, we are seeing, again, waifu tax in, 
in action here. Uh, 141 is the 30-day price average. But again, look at that overall trajectory just heading right the way up just because she's got a fucking leg out. 200 euros at a minimum. And then the rest quickly sweeping up towards a 250 and beyond mark. I expect this will continue to rise up as we're seeing here with the trend. Uh, and again, long term, I think this will be a really good one for value. Chamber Dragon Maid, you weird little scalies out there. You've kept this price rocking along around here. Unsurprising because, well, Dragon Maids are effectively unplayable. Um, there's a small engine that's doing the rounds in Dragon Link variants and things like that. But other than that, it's kind of dead ass. The deck is just not really played. And as such, we're not really seeing much movement on the price apart from this one crazy spike here where someone's bought them out. 229 euros. However, the price trend is over double that. I do think that that's been affected by that weird spike there. However, the 30-day price average is 250 So overall, you can get these cheaper than the kind of going rate is, which indicates that it could dip down a little bit. However, if we're looking at what's going on here, we've seen an ebb and flow around €50 Euros a piece either side of the mark. So again, while well, it's probably going to hold kind of steady, um, probably not one for long-term value, I wouldn't have thought, because I don't really see the deck taking off anytime soon. Although it is Dragon, so I guess crazy things could happen. But yeah, again, one of those ones you might want to consider selling up if you do have it, and you don't want to hold it long-term value potentially trade in to one with better value in the long term ghost mourner and moonlit chill coming all the way down overall the actual price trend is 264 euros and 70 they are a minimum of 300 euros overall however we have seen it hit much higher this to be honest could be skewing the figures a little bit so i may be reading into this a little bit wrong in fact to be honest we're probably seeing it yo-yo between that three and 400 mark maybe 350 is probably a little bit more accurate so again this is probably about right and probably where it's going to sit uh, again, if it becomes a, a super relevant hand trap, and I know that it's seen a little bit more experimental play in recent uh, in recent weeks, uh, I do think that it's one of those ones that's likely just going to sit around this kind of mark unless it becomes super relevant. And now we move on to one that is absolutely not relevant at all. 180 euros for a Trap Tricks card. I don't know anyone that plays this deck at all, so there you go. It says a lot about the deck, or maybe it says a lot about me. Who knows? Anyway, the prices are absolutely all over the place on this. The price range is 160 euros. However, they are a minimum of 180, and then that is only one of that price, and the rest are 200 and above. Again, because the Starlight's probably just ki keeps kicking that value up long term, so something to consider. Araya the Water Charmer, uh, again, another reason why it keeps going up. You don't need to, me to tell you, you already know why it's happening. Overall, price trend is going up. We are actually seeing much bigger spikes up and down on this one. It is worth noting this is a little bit newer than some of these, so of course, that is a bit more natural. You get a bit of fluctuation in the early days, but overall, the trend is heading upwards. The price trend is 353 euros. However, the minimum you can get one for in English is 450 euros. Again, expect this to continue to go up over time. I don't know by how much. It's anyone's guess at this stage. However, when we're seeing cards like Appaloosa at some point hitting up as high as 1100, this could go absolutely anywhere. Effect Veiler, a bit of a staple in the modern game, of course. It's been a little bit power crept by Infinite Impermanence in many respects, but still highly, highly played. 500 euros is the minimum. This is the one that has taken the place of the Ultimate Rare, which we've seen in a couple of others, but we'll get into that later on. So Effect Veiler here, minimum of 500 euros. The overall price trend is 480. So not surprisingly at all, this is continuing to go up. And it is one that if I was going to put money on going up, this would be one of those cards. Hand traps are going to be relevant for the foreseeable future they have been for the last few years and as the game increases in speed they will continue to be more and more important unless something big changes in the meta Number 39, Utopia in that weird foreign language. I can't even read that shit. What's the point? The overall price is coming down. Clearly, clearly not as rare as the other ones, not as highly sought after, which I kind of somewhat is surprising, to be honest with you. You would think with it being such an iconic card that it would hold really good value. The overall trend is actually downward. So this is something that if you're looking to pick up, you may want to look sooner rather than later, because I expect at some point when the, these kind of things sell out and they're no longer in circulation, the price is is going to go up at some point. The minimum you can get them for at the moment is just under 300 euros. The overall price trend is 222. So while it's above that on average at the moment, we are seeing the overall trajectory coming down. So again, long term, I would expect in the next few months, this to bottom out at some point and then start to creep back up. Ecclesia, one that I actually expected to continue to rise up. I think it will start to do so long term. It is worth noting that at the moment, this is a super played card. So maybe this is as high as it gets. 
I mean, this isn't really a staple in the same respect as the likes of Appaloosa and IP Mascarena. However, it isn't a really, really popular deck, although you do need three copies of it, along with three copies of other cards that are potentially in Starlight Rare as well. So something to consider that people may not have as much to spend on these cards as they would normally. Although the collector's market is kind of crazy, so who knows, maybe I'm talking rubbish. The minimum you can get these for are 290 euros, but after that it's 350 euros and above, and the overall price trend is 337. The 30 day price average is just over 350 euros, so it is overall slightly creeping up, but not by too much. We have seen it yo yo up and down, however, the overall trajectory since its release has been downward, so something to keep in mind. Guy, the Magical Knight of Dragons, another one of the absolute useless Starlight Rares, purely there for, of course, our casual fans or people who just like to collect these things for something kind of nice. To be honest with you, I mean, I say all of this, the, the value on these is still really, really good. You pull one, you're still in very, very good hands. However, 130 euros is the minimum you can get these for. The overall price trend is 90 euros. However, overall, if you look over the last couple of months, this is headed down very, very slightly. Expect this to continue to head down before it goes anywhere. I imagine we're going to see a little lull on this for a while where it just sits there and sinks and doesn't really maintain much value and then of course down the line when the collectors want to start picking these up again the people who don't have them already we will see the price recover Triple Tactics, Talent, of course, super played at the moment. One of those cards that's really important in the modern game. And we see this in a lot of combo decks as a way of making them be able to recover or punish the opponent if they're interrupted in their plays. We are seeing these at a minimum of €350. Euros. The price trend is around 400 so you can get them a little bit shy of that. However, again, if you look at the overall trajectory... It is heading very gradually up. Again, expect these to continue to head up towards this 500 mark. Probably about the average I expect in the, in the in the short to long time, I would have thought. Or short to medium term, I should say. Makes a little bit more sense than short to long. Complete fucking opposites, but there you go. 350 euros is the minimum you can get these for. Of course, people will start to pick these up at this kind of low end. And again, they will creep up towards this mark here. Win the win channeler overall dropping down. 270 euros is the, the minimum you can get them for. The overall price trend is a little bit lower, but actually, if you look at the chart here, they are gradually heading down. Again, it's worth remembering with these 30-day price averages and price trends that these get skewed a little bit by the previous figures, depending on what's going on here. All it takes is one seller to list incredibly high, and it pushes the value overall up. 270 euros is the minimum you can get these for and then the rest are still around that sort of range here not in a too bad a spot if you are looking to pick one up not likely to face a kind of buyout anytime soon but again maybe a good one for the collection if you're looking to pick up and then our final look at one that i'm actually surprised is as low as it is dd crow one of these cards that again has its formats but is always at least somewhat useful unlike some of the other hand traps that we see out there maybe it's because it's got the ulti printed as well so people are content to sit on that i don't really know however for starlight to these 299 euros and above is what you're looking at the 30 day price average is only 122 and the price trend is 215 so overall we're seeing a marked improvement on these statistics here however if you look earlier on, of course, in the last couple of months, it was a little bit higher. So one that, again, I would expect that in the short term is going to continue to trajectory down a little bit. But overall, we're going to expect to see this increase in the long term. So this is one that if you've got hold of it, it's probably good to hold for long term value. If you haven't picked these up yet and you're looking to, now is possibly a good time to start considering taking the investment. So that, my friends, is all for today's UK slash Euro market watch hopefully you've really enjoyed the content if you have of course before you go any further you should definitely hit subscribe if this is not the only kind of content that you're looking for we do have a variety of other things that i pump out three times a week fridays we regularly have locals vlogs although we're, we're kind of toying with the idea of maybe cutting those back particularly once major events are back so sorry for those of you who do enjoy that but it's 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 a possibility we're not definitely going there yet but anyway enough of that nonsense we do deck profiles of course we do combo tutorials, we do how to play videos, and of course, every single Monday, you can get your hands on some more Market Watch action. I do take requests as well, so if that is something that you want to see, or there's a card that you want to see covered, you can definitely reach out and let me know. You'll find me all over Facebook, I am all over that shit, you can't miss me if you tried. So, easy enough to find, easy enough to shoot a message to, and of course, if you can't, check my links down in the description, you can get hold of me on any other social media. Whilst we're on that note as well, you should definitely check the links in the description, I've got a link to my channel sponsor. Is Jam Jam Card UK. Big shout out to them for giving me the hookup on all my card needs. If you want to get a cheeky little discount, you can check the link in the description for that and get yourself a nice percentage off. And of course, if you're interested in getting any kind of signed cards or anything like that, then give you the hookup on that as well. I can sign it out, pretend I'm famous, all that good shit, and we can send them on over to you. 
But that's enough talking nonsense for me. Thank you very much in either case for making it this far and for hopefully enjoying the content. And of course, if you haven't already, you should definitely hit subscribe. But enough of that nonsense. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.